as a, a white man um, who has had privileges that, that others could not depend on or take for granted. Uh, I've clearly had advantages over the, the course of my life. I'm increasingly embarrassed to be a white male these days. I mean, what a, <laughs> light of what I see of my other white males saying. But we don't realize sometimes, especially as a white person, how impactful, how offensive they are. As a white man who walks through life with that privilege, walk in these shoes, walk in these communities. Where the hell am I going? And guess what? I take That's what happens. That's my white privilege. I own it. It's fine. Yeah. As a white man, can I tell those white men to shut up? I think that's a reasonable reaction to the nonsense they're saying. But I'd love to get a very thoughtful person's take on all of this. Ben Carson, Dr. Ben Carson, the former Secretary of Housing and Urban Development under Donald Trump, presidential candidate in 2016, neurosurgeon, all-around superhero. Dr. Carson, Mr. Secretary, welcome back to Newsmax. How are you? It's, uh, I'm doing very well. Always good to be with you, Greg. Sir, you've written about this. I know you've thought about this. There is a conversation about race that's uh, happening in America that I find uh, rather disturbing, but I'm anxious to hear your thoughts on what we're going through right now at this moment. Well, it seems like uh, every day uh, there's some new racial issue uh, that didn't exist before. So obviously uh, there seems to be some plan to bring this front and center. Uh, the fact of the matter is, and the left is very reluctant to to admit this, the plight and the uh, position of uh, black people in America has improved dramatically uh, just in my lifetime. I remember growing up in Detroit and Boston, and uh, there was real racial prejudice and a lot of preferences issues there. Those don't exist uh, anymore to anywhere near that extent. You have, you know, black CEOs of major companies. You have thousands of black millionaires, a greatly expanded black middle class, uh, generals and admirals, all kinds of things. But see if you can get the left to admit that. It's, that's not true. They have to make everybody feel like a victim and, or uh, like they should be guilty because somebody else is having some kind of an issue. And I think it, it, it is a pattern that we've seen multiple times when a society is changing from a, cease, a free society to a socialist or communist society, creating chaos, creating division and hatred seems to be a prerequisite before you can make that change. And I hope the American people are smart enough to actually see this. We're not each other's enemies. We've made enormous social progress. And don't let people make us into enemies. It's just uh, unnecessary and unhealthy. You think this is a plan, though, of the left? This is actually a strategy to bring on this kind of discord in a, in a way in a, to move us further to the left? Absolutely. And, and it's not just uh, race. It's age. It's income. It's religion. It's any area in which they can separate and divide us that works for them. It gives them power because they can tell each of the victimized groups that they are their salvation. So their plan so far, strangely enough, seems to be working out. We got all kinds of discord. People are at each other's throats. Democrats are they're talking about making D.C. a state, packing the court. Any suggestions? We have brilliant op-eds and, and, and those kinds of yeah. things, but a lot of us, you know, there are people keeping their heads kind of low right now. They think this is a dangerous well, time to talk. You got the cancel culture you got to worry about as well. What's your advice? How do we not go the direction of some of those other countries? There's really only uh, one really good solution that I can see, and it's called courage. You know, if, if you sit in the corner and say nothing and hope no one calls you a racist, uh, you're not going to get very far. The only thing necessary for evil to succeed is for good men to do nothing. That's a famous quote. It's absolutely true. And the freedoms that we have here in America, they have to be fought for every single day. And as soon as you let down your guard, uh, the forces of, of evil begin to uh, multiply. And that's what's happening in our society right now. Pure, unadulterated evil. Just think about this. You know, our country used to be one where we loved our neighbor. That was preached to us, love your neighbor. 
Now we teach people to hate your neighbor or to cancel your neighbor if they disagree with you. How can that possibly lead to a good place? Sir, uh, I'll ask you, from white man to black man, there are plenty of uh, white folk who are reluctant to talk about race. Uh, the moment uh, a black person might disagree with them, uh, they feel like they have to shut up. And I don't know if you heard on the way in, we had a lot of white people being very virtuous because uh, pointing out the color of their skin and somehow that makes them out of touch. Um, what are your thoughts about that? Because I think you're absolutely right about courage, but that's something that I know white people are a little bit reluctant to go there, especially with someone of another race. Well, you know, external characteristics like your skin color, your hair color and texture, your eyes, they're so superficial. They're so meaningless. What really makes a person who they are? It's their brain. It's their character. And that's what Dr. King was talking about. He dreamed of a time when we could a judge person on the content of their character and not the color of their skin. You know, the simpler you are, uh, like animals, for instance, the more you depend on external characteristics to determine how you react. As you become much more sophisticated, you begin to realize that there are much deeper issues that are much more important. And I can certainly say as a neurosurgeon, you know, when I'm operating in someone's brain, I cannot tell whether they're black, white, brown, or yellow. Uh, the brain is the same, and that is what actually makes you who you are. That is amazing that you can do that. Any brain <laughs> neurosurgeons, <laughs> you guys, that is, that is so impressive. Uh, finally, um, I'd like to get your thoughts on, in, in, in the remaining 30 seconds, on faith at a time like this. Uh, I know God is watching, God knows everything, Seems like God is not welcome in the public square by so many. Uh, it feels like we're moving as a culture further and further away from him. Well, you got to remember, Nikita Khrushchev 60 years ago said that your grandchildren's children will live under communism and we won't have to fire a shot because he knew all you had to do is gain control of the schools so you could uh, indoctrinate them, gain control of the media so you could spoon feed them, get rid of God and replace it with government and increase the debt to a level that you could justify massive taxation and redistribution of wealth. Does any of that sound familiar? Wow, sure does. Um, Dr. Carson, so glad that you are available to us on Newsmax and um, continued success. Hey, I hope you're thinking about 2024. Didn't necessarily work out in 2016, but who knows? Uh, you're not breaking a smile. I don't know, would you ever think about running again for anything? Well, I just think, uh, and the reason that we developed the American Cornerstone Institute is getting America back to recognizing what are those foundational principles that made us into a great nation. I'm much more concerned about that than any personal advancement. Well, your personal advancement might lead to the advancement of a lot of other people. So I hope you consider it a little bit, but you're doing important work, of course. Dr. Carson, thank you very much. Thank you, Greg. Hey, I'm Rob Finnerty. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please join the conversation in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe too. Hit the bell icon to be alerted to breaking news. And remember, there's a whole lot more on Newsmax TV, America's fastest growing cable news network. Newsmax TV, where real news for real people.